All right. Hello. Hello. Look at that miracle. Grandma is a miracle. Look at the miracle. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Nobody but you, Lord. I give God praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. Here's my grandma. There you go, grandma. Your family, due to the COVID, due to COVID, only one family member can visit per day. So, of course, all of the family is here. Shut up, Miss Kelly. All of the family is here and in the area because y'all know what was scheduled for 2.30 today. But to God be the glory, Grandma is still here. She is right there. And I just want to broadcast live for the family members that cannot come in the hospital um, due to the COVID. I want to let y'all see this miracle. Grandma, give the Lord some praise and tell him thank you. I tell you, y'all, if y'all don't know the testimony, what the doctor said, and I know my grandma was listening when he said it. He said, we're going to take the tube out. And she is expected to live. Glory be to the Lamb of God. She is expected to live two hours after we take the tube out. After we remove her off the life support. That was Wednesday. Today is Saturday. They took the tube out on Wednesday like they planned to. Glory to God. Her heart rate picked up. They said her organs is shutting down. She ain't going to last. But I'm here to tell you people. You better pray. And praise I give God glory. I'll be 47 years old and I got my grandma. I got my grandma. There she go right there. She's still with me. No, she can't lift her hands and hug me. She can't even say, hey, Kwani, like she used to. But she here. She's still here, and I thank God. I thank God, and Grandma, you do too. Grandma, tell him thank you. Give, give God the glory, hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. I know she's saying it. She's still here. She's still here. These people only practice medicine. They don't know what they talking about. God still had a final say so. And he said, not so. Hey! <laughs> not yet. That's what he said. He said, not yet. She is. There she go. Tube removed. I'm telling you, if you want to hear a testimony of God's goodness, you want to see a miracle? Here she go, right here. I give God glory. I'm not trying to make a whole lot of noise in these people's hotel room. I mean, hospital. I'm not trying to make a lot of noise. But I want to tell y'all, thank you, Jesus. Ugly crying. Ugly crying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Grandma. You want to say something? She got so many... People that love her, that would that um would want to come and see her. But let me tell you something: with this corona, do what you gotta do now for the people that you love, because when they get in the hospital, you can't go see them. I practically had to scale the walls of the hospital to get in here today to see her. My Georgia ID didn't matter. They, it did, none, nothing even matters. You need to do what you have to do for the people that you love now. Love is an action word. If you say that you love them, do it now. Just in case. Just in case so that you don't have that heavy weight on your shoulders. I love my grandma. Hands down. The leading lady in my life. My grandma. Right, grandma? I love you. You know it. Yes, yeah, look at us. Y'all saw shaking. Grandma, you know I love you. I love you, Grandma. 
Yes, I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. Mm -hmm. I love my Grandma. I love my Grandma. I love you, Grandma. I put lipstick on your forehead. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. Grandma, I love you so much. You know I love you. I love you so much. Who was that? I wasn't going to cry no more today, y'all. Grandma, you got gotcha. your your grands on here. His grands on there. It's, it's, it's people that love you and is praying for you. Calling calling call a name, y'all, when y'all pray, please. I put I put a whole name. Please call a name. I'm not being selfish. I'm not asking for for God to keep her here. And just let his will be done, whatever it may be. I thank God for already making her a miracle. Y'all know today was supposed to be the that day. 2.30 was supposed to be the day. But she's still with us. And God's will be done. God's will be done. Even my brother, my brother's in Korea. She only have two grandsons. My brother is one. He is in Korea. Oh Lord Jesus, Grandma, you see it, Grandma, Grandma, Grandma. Yes, ma'am, Grandma. I love you. That's brief. She's trying to break my life. I love you. I love you. I love you. You gonna say I love you? I love you. I put that lip gloss on her lips. Grandma, you see everybody? No, you don't. You can't see them, but they see you. Grandma. 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 You tired? I've been here too long. Grandma, hey, Grandma, I'm still here. <sighs> Grandma, <sighs> thank y'all for y'all prayers. Thank you so much. It means so much. <laughs> it means so much. Grandma, 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 come on, Grandma, come on, Grandma, you want me to read you some scripture, I brought my Bible, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Grandma brought my Bible. Let me put you up. Let me see. I bought my Bible. What's your favorite scripture, Grandma? stuff we need to do let's see I'm gonna read you your um favorite scripture cuz I brought my Bible <sighs> let's see I can get in here. I love you. Mm -hmm. 
I'm probably not supposed to be kissing on you. <sighs> but I don't want us to kiss. See, this is a beautiful view. Okay, Grandma. I'm going to read. Now, let me see. You can see both of us. You all right? Okay. You still can't see me. You can see a little bit of me. Okay, Grandma. 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 I'm about to read your scripture. I'll just read it from... I'm going to read the scripture from what I have I read this morning from my scripture reading at, at the house. It's 1 Kings 10. When the Queen of Sheba heard about the fame of Solomon and his relation to the, na the name of the Lord, she came to test him with hard questions. Arriving at Jerusalem with a very great caravan with camels carrying spices, large quantities of gold and precious stones, she came to Solomon and talked with him about all she had on her mind. Solomon answered all her questions. Nothing was too hard for the king to explain to her. When the queen of Sheba saw all the wisdom of Solomon and the palace he had built, the food on his table, the seating of his officials, the attending servants in their robes, the cupbearers, and the burnt offerings he made at the temple of the Lord, she was overwhelmed. She said to the king, The report I heard in my own country about your achievements and your wisdom is true, but I do not believe these things until I came and saw with my own eyes. Indeed, not even half was told me in wisdom and wealth. You have far exceeded the report I heard. How happy, how happy your officials who continually stand before you and hear your wisdom. Praise be to the Lord your God who has delighted in you and placed you on the throne of Israel. Because of the Lord's eternal love for Israel, he has made you king to maintain justice and righteousness. And she gave the king 120 talents of gold, large quantity of spices, and precious stones. Never again were so many spices brought in as those the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Hiram's ships brought gold from Ophar, and from there they brought great car caragos of almagood and precious stones. The king used the almagood to make supports for the temple of the Lord and for the royal palace and to make harps and lyres for the musicians. So much almagood has never been imported or seen since that day. King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired and asked for, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. Then she left and returned with her, her caravan to her own country. That's what I read this morning. And I just want to let you know, Grandma, that was my scripture reading this morning. Grandma, 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 that was my scripture reading this morning, and you are my queen of Sheba, my leading lady. I've always told you that, and that just came from the scriptures, too, how, what a beautiful and wonderful woman the queen of Sheba was when she went to visit King Solomon. Okay? Grandma? Grandma? Okay. All right. I love you. Give me a kissy. I love you so much. Can I hug you? I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much.
lungs and heart and kidney and whatever else in the name of Jesus. Grandma, in the name of Jesus. Grandma. Come on, Grandma. Someone's in my life. <laughs> I gotta get off your arm. My head heavy. I'm sorry. You okay? What you wanna say? I thank the Lord that he let me hold you today. My faith so much. I love you so much. I gotta oil your hair. You never had no gray hair. You done got gray hair and you staying in this this dang old hospital. been here all this time. Ain't nobody even come here and check on you. That's why you gotta come home. I gotta go home, Grandma. Come on. gloss on your lips look pretty. Huh? You ready to go home? Huh? Grandma. I know they've had it. You grandma? You wanna see? Huh? Huh? Grandma say something. <laughs> 